So to get started, you're gonna need a new good pair of sneakers. One of the best things for you to do is to go to your local running store. They're gonna have a more knowledgeable staff and they may be able to spend more time with you to find the best shoe for you. Some local running stores will do what we call is a treadmill running analysis. We're gonna look for overpronation. People tend to fall into one or two categories and that's either a stability or neutral. And with stability, we're looking for people who are overpronating. Neutral tend to not overpronate so much. What I'm talking about with overpronation, it's something that your body naturally does to absorb the shock when your body hits the ground. If you have flat feet or really flexible arches, your feet will tend to roll inwards as your full body weight is over each foot. So if you tend to overpronate a little too much, we'll put you in a stability sneaker and that stops the rolling. Not so much because you do want the body to do some pronation. With neutral, you tend to have a little bit more leeway as to which way you go. But again, with stability, you really want to find the right amount of stability. If you need a stability sneaker, the sneaker will actually have a harder midsole in this area. This shoe doesn't have it, but if you have a stability sneaker, you can actually feel that middle section, which is a lot harder than near the toe area or near the heel. And that harder section will prevent your body from rolling inwards to keep you more neutral and keep your legs more aligned. And the reason why we do that is if you tend to overpronate, you'll have a little misalignment in your ankles, in your knees, and that'll go all the way up into your hips. And over time, as you build mileage and as you build experience in your run, it can cause a domino effect and possibly cause injuries down the line. So with that stability sneaker, we're gonna to try to keep you on your feet, keep you from getting injured so that you, you can keep running.